Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Well, let me tell you this, you do not want to make this mistake that I made when setting the audio levels in your camera or on your external microphone. But before we dive in, my name is David and I create photography tips and tricks videos and street photography POVs here on the channel. So if you're into that, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. Today we will learn if it makes any difference whether we set the audio levels in the camera or the external microphone, meaning we basically set the in-camera audio to the lowest possible value and have the external microphone value set to the max and then we do the exact opposite where we set the in-camera audio levels to the max value and the external microphone to the minimum value. Will it make any difference? Let's find out. All right so right now I have the audio levels in the camera set to 10 and on the Rode VideoMic NTG also set to 10. Um, the audio levels look good. Looks like uh, we're not peaking, we're pretty much in the middle. But I will now try to turn down the audio in the camera and turn up the volume on the VideoMic NTG. And then we're gonna compare if we actually notice any difference. All right, so the audio in the Sony CV-E10 is now set to one and on the video mic NTG, it is set to the max value, which is 15. How does that sound? It might actually sound exactly the same, but I just thought I would try it and you might have the same question. So that's why I'm uploading this to YouTube. So now let's do the opposite. All right, now we have set the, oh, that is almost peaking. We've set the audio level in the camera to, I think, let me check what the value is. 31, that's the max value, and on the video mic NTG it is set to one. How does that sound? Is it good? Is it bad? Does it make any difference? Let's find out. All right, I have just reviewed the audio tracks and it is safe to say that the audio levels in the camera should be rather on the lower end and the audio levels on the video mic NTG can be higher. There's definitely a noticeable background noise if the camera levels are set to the max value. So keep them down and rather change and adjust the audio levels of the video mic NTG. All right, and there's also a setting on the Rode video mic NTG that is supposed to boost the higher frequencies to kind of um, even out the dead cat that I have on top of it. I've never tested that either. We are testing it right now. So yeah, you can compare that to the earlier audio tracks and to see if that makes any difference. I actually totally forgot about to do an intro today. So this is another episode of Camera Quickies where I record short tips and tricks videos. If you're into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today, guys. I see you in the next video.